I would like to welcome you all to today's uh, online event and I would like to give you an introduction into our master's program in comparative biomedicine at the VetMed University in Vienna. My name is Sabine Lacker and uh, I'm co-coordinating the master's program um, at our university. So I would like to give you a very brief overview over the topics of this uh, event today. And first, I would like to give you a little bit of a history of our university. I'll talk to you about the location um, of our university uh, and, and whereabouts we are located in Vienna. And then I will briefly touch on the research uh, that is going on um, at our university and how do we teach. Um, and then I will more specifically come to the master's program in comparative biomedicine. Basically also what can you expect from our master's program and why should you study our master's program. And after I've finished, I will hand over to my colleague, Christine Schwab-Schuster, and she will give you um, some advice on the general admission procedures um, for the comparative medicine uh, program. And uh, finally, we will have some uh, questions from you um, via live chat. Okay, so uh, just very briefly to the history of our university. We are the only veterinary university in Austria and we were founded already in 1765 um, by Empress Maria Theresia. And it was basically, we were basically founded um, to be a curing school for horses, um, which were very important at the time. We are the third oldest veterinary school in the world and the oldest veterinary school in the German speaking world. Um, in 1823, our university was located in the third district of Vienna. And in 1996, um, we became a completely newly refurbished campus and uh, we are currently located in Floridsdorf um, uh, across the Danube in a, another very beautiful part of Vienna. And um, here you can see an aerial view of, um, of the 21st district, basically, uh, where you have the arms of the Danube in. And we are very much in the green, but we are not isolated. And there are many parks nearby. And you can also see, the, as said, the, the river Danube flowing through. Um, we have very good accessibility with public transport. And the nice thing is also you can ride your bicycles because the bicycle paths are actually connecting the city of Vienna um, also to the 21st district here in, in Floridsdorf. And we also have um, student housing nearby. And if you're asking yourself where we are exactly, this is where we are, um, just in the very nice uh, green suburbs of Vienna. So um, Vienna is a very livable city and um, is usually ranked um, very highly up in all the rankings um, uh, of the world. Um, it's a very stable um, situation in, in Austria. We have very good healthcare, education. There is a lot of cultural events and of course also um, a very beautiful environment for you to explore as students. So now I would like to briefly come to the um, organization and the locations of our university. Um, the main campus is located in Vienna, <coughs> which you can basically see here. And then we also have a second location uh, on some hills uh, outside of Vienna. Um, and then we have several other um, dependences in, in Austria and even one uh, being there in, in Tyrolia. But the main um, uh, research going on in the, within the program of comparative um, uh, biomedicine will be here on campus and there is one or two lectures also in the 16th district uh, on uh, the other um, outside of, of, the, of the main campus. So our motto at the university is confident, committed and innovative and these are basically the pillows that we are building our research on. We are of course as a veterinary school very much focusing on animals, also on health but also on human health and diseases and we are interested in food and also, of course, the environment. And we are trying to uh, connect this in our teaching, research and medical care approach. And if you're asking yourself when I'm studying um, comparative biomedicine, which, um, which areas are most important for me? And this is probably going to be animal health um, as well as human health, as we are a program for comparative biomedicine. So just to give you a little bit of an idea about our research activities that are going on, we are focusing on some, uh, um, some uh, research profile areas, which are basically pathway medicine, infection and prevention, comparative veterinary research, food safety and risk analysis, and animal behavior and human-animal interaction. So these are our main research profile areas. And one very important approach for our university is also the One Health approach 
where we try to combine research for the health of animals and humans in the context of the environment. Um, as you can see, um, in 2022, we had about 790 scientific staff and we were able to publish more than a thousand scientific publications um, in peer-reviewed journals mainly. So the main research focus are uh, several um, points, as you can see here. Uh, for example, endocrinology and reproduction, nutritional physiology, infection medicine, food microbiology, genomics, translational medicine, behavior, as well as wildlife ecology and veterinary ethics. And our master's program basically touches or connect, has con strong connection points with these. And in, in particular, this is infection medicine, where we are also researching emerging diseases and zoonosis um, and immunoprophylaxis. And then, of course, also genomics and transnational medicine, where we also focus on the genome as well as the epigenome, signaling pathways in cancer, infection and inflammation. And of course, also a very important point for us is veterinary ethics and animal welfare. And these are all connection points um, that you will find with our master's program in comparative biomedicine. So for teaching what is going on at our university, I told you, of course, that we are a veterinary school. So we, of course, have a diploma program in veterinary medicine. And then we have also a bachelor program where we also um, educate uh, in biomedicine and biotechnology. And then we have several master's programs. And in red, I've highlighted here for you um, the comparative biomedicine um, program. We also have a master's program for human-animal relations and a very newly established digitalization in animal health management. And then there are two more master programs which are connected either with the Boku University in Vienna or the University of Vienna, which we do in collaboration with those two universities. We also have a doctor's program for veterinary medicine and we also have PhD programs for scientists that are going on. And if you're interested, where do our students come from? Um, most of them actually come from Austria. Um, it, that is more than 1,500. And then we have about 750 EU citizens and non-EU citizens would be about 120. So um, yes, we have a lot of Austrian students, but also, of course, we welcome international students um, to our programs. So now I would like to focus a little bit more uh, on the master's program and give you some more specific details about our program. So our main idea is to focus on current molecular biology research and we try to connect teaching and research. And this is our main focus. So you will be taught by scientists that do, uh, do research actively um, and um, that do a lot of interdisciplinary research um, another important topic for us is also personalized medicine. Um, we would like to uh, introduce our students to state-of-the-art technologies as we are constantly thriving also um, to, to apply new technologies. And we would, of course, ultimately try to develop uh, new thera therapies, mainly for human patients, but of course also for animal patients, if that is possible. So what can you expect after you have completed our program? Where can you find yourself? Where can you work? What would be your professional fields? So you could definitely do research in the pharmaceutical and biomedical industry. Also, you could do product development and research in biomedicine. You can, of course, also go on to higher education and go into PhD programs um, at our university or also other international universities. Um, but of course, you can also work at non-university research institutions, public and private research facilities and uh, public and private health facilities. So all of these um, professional fields are possible after you've completed our program. So now to some more details. Um, the most important point is, of course, that our program is fully taught in the English language. So we, because we believe that English is the language um, for scientists, um, and it should be a, a language that is universally available. And also, of course, because we would like to attract students also from the outside of Austria. Um, and as said, the program is fully in English. So if you do not speak German, um, that is not a major problem. Um, all in all, uh, the program comprises 120 ECTS points and it is designed to, um, to last four semesters. We usually allocate 15 places. 
So you can see that it's a, a very small study program, but this has really a lot of uh, advantages for the students because you, can, you are in a very defined little group um, with your fellow students and of course um, you have a very close and direct contact to your teachers and professors. Um, and you will end your uh, master's program with the degree Master of Science. Um, the requirements for the admission, so we strongly recommend that if you decide to go into our master's program in comparative biomedicine, that you have a strong focus in natural sciences. And it is defi definitely a very strong advantage if you have molecular biology knowledge. So we do really advise you or um, recommend that you have these uh, bachelor degrees. Okay, so um, now I would like to give you a little bit more of a detailed overview and the main focus of our master's program. And we have two important pillars that we build our master's program on. And the first one is tumor signaling pathways. Um, and the second one is infection biomedicine. And at the end of your study program, you should hopefully be able to understand both of these pillars and to be able to connect and understand how these pillows um, actually work together uh, in malignant diseases. So in the first year, what you will mainly learn is some uh, basic molecular biology, for example, proliferation, apoptosis pathways, um, and so on. You will also learn biomedicine, and we have a very strong focus also on biomodels. So um, at our university here, as being a vet school, we have, of course, access to biomodels, and this is, um, we think, very important for you also to work then in industry or higher on um, educational uh, facilities. We will also focus in the first year in virology, bacteriology and parasitology, immunology and pathology. And another very important point in our study is um, bioinformatics. So we believe that the next generation of scientists should really be equipped to have a profound knowledge in bioinformatics. And we would like to um, very strongly also uh, lay a focus of our program in these um, methods. And then you will also have, of course, the chance to do some electives. In the second year, you will uh, deepen your knowledge in biomedicine and you will again have, of course, my molecular biology lectures. Here you will have then also technology trainings and some more bioinformatics. You will have again electives and you will also have scientific writing and biomedical economy, which should also equip you for the next steps in your education. And then you will have eight weeks of a practical training and then the master thesis, which is usually designed to last about one semester. I think the unique features of our program, I've tried to highlight them here. So the first important point is that we really put a strong focus on different in vitro and in vivo biomodels that we would like to equip you with knowledge in big data analysis, which is very important uh, in, in the future for you as a novel scientists. We would also like to connect you to industry. We'd give you a strong um, focus on scientific writing. And we would also, of course, highlight that we are part of international mobility programs. So should you decide also to um, study a semester abroad, um, we have an office here and campus, and we also strongly support Erasmus mobility programs. Um, of course, the question is always, how are the exams designed? So um, this is a, a small overview. In the first semester, you will have one bigger written overall exam over several lectures, plus some individual lecture exams. In the second semester, you will have two of these bigger exams, one focusing on tumor biology, the second one focusing on infection biology, as well as some additional lecture exams. In the third semester, you will mainly be busy with technology trainings, scientific writing and economy. And in the fourth semester, you will have your oral master's defense and then um, you should be finishing our program. So what can you now expect from our master's program in comparative biomedicine? So we have to say that our program is a full-time program um, because we believe that you first need um, the, the basic foundation and the knowledge of tumor signaling and infection pathways. Um, so therefore, our study program is designed that you have a very full timetable. And it's a fixed timetable. Um, so if, if a lot of uh, students need to work at the same time, this can often be a little bit difficult. Um, but we try to make room in the timetable also for, of course, um, some other things that you need to uh, accommodate. 
The advantages of this full timetable are that it is very highly planable because of course you will get the timetable in advance and you have a, a high uh, or a very uh, increased chance of a timely completion. So within usually four semesters, our students are really leaving the university. So why should you now study comparative biomedicine at our university? So if you're interested in how or in, in understanding diseases and develop new therapies in molecular biology, um, and, and uh, you also want to learn about medical and molecular biology basics, then I think this program is really a good fit for you. You have um, a very personal support because, as said, we have a very limited amount of study places um, and therefore you have op optimal contact with your lecturers and professors. We try to be very international. We have uh, Erasmus students. We of also offer fellowships should you be interested in also um, going abroad. And I think the most important point is we are at the pulse of research because you are taught by researchers themselves um, and the lectures are involved in research activities. And we also have a very nice uh, master symposium that the professors and lecturers organize for the master students of this program, which takes place every year in May, uh, where we invite international and um, national scientists um, that will then talk to our master students and of course also the entire community here at the VETMED University. Another important feature is that we also offer some personal support lectures, the, the so-called personal skills. They have actually been designed for our bachelor students but the master students are very um, welcome to also join them and you can see here you can learn more about study didactics, self-management and potential development, um, communication, conflict management, team development and change management, career planning and also career counseling. And all of this is offered also by our coordinator of the master's program, Dieter Klein, um, who you can see here. Um, another important point is that we have a very strong um, personal support union of our students. So um, we have semester speakers every year selects their speakers, which are in very strong and direct co uh, contact with the professors. And, and therefore, you can, um, if you have any problems or if you need um, answers uh, for, for several questions, you can always talk to your semester speakers and also to the student union here at the VETMED University. And you also find um, the homepage um, of our student union on uh, linked to our master's program uh, homepage. As said, um, we also organize every year a master symposium, which takes place in late May usually. Um, and we also have an alumni meeting where former master students from the program come together and uh, talk to each other and, 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 and connect, reconnect again. And in this master symposium, um, we try to focus on new methods and technologies, um, state-of-the-art research that is going on in the Vienna area or in the Austrian area, but of course also internationally. And you will also get career examples from industry and biotech. And as said, we'll also have the chance um, to um, or meet alumni of the master's program in the alumni meeting. So I hope I could give you now um, a small overview of our master's program. And now I would hand over to my colleague Christine, who will answer any questions regarding admission procedures and um, other um, non-scientific uh, questions regarding the program. Good afternoon. My name is Christine schwab schusser and as mentioned before, I work in the Vice Rectorate for Study Affairs and Clinical Veterinary Medicine. And I will give you a short overview on the selection procedure for this master's program. The reason why we have to have a selection procedure is that there are only 15 study places available. So if there are more applicants than study places, we have to select those who are allowed to study here at our university. An important point, learning material. The learning material will be published or has to be published on the website not later than four months before the aptitude test. And I can give you the information that the learning material will be published this week. So please look up on our website and you find the information you need there. The selection procedure consists of different steps and I will lead you through them all. 
and you will find all the information on our website too, so you can look it up there too. And if you have questions regarding the selection procedure or if questions arise through the procedure, if you have problems with your account or with signing in, then please write to zulassung at wetmeduni.ac.at and we will answer your questions as soon as possible. The application period starts on the 4th of March and it ends on the 21st of May. So please make sure that you apply in this deadline. You have to register at first and then you have to create an account. And during the selection procedure, you will receive an application number. Please take that down because this number identifies you through the whole process. Use it when you get in contact with us. It's also your payment reference, so it's an important information. And you have to choose a password, which you need to log in into your account. So please take that down too. We also need a valid email address from you because we correspond with you via email. And make sure that the email address is valid for the whole process. And it's helpful if you leave us a telephone number. On this slide, you see two screenshots. One for the registration. The link to register is on our website. And the other one is when you have created an account, you get the so-called business card or workplace. And there you can find your name and your email address. And on the My Applications feature below that, you can start to apply and you can check your application afterwards. It's important that you have to choose which master's program you want to study, because you may apply to only one of our master's programs. And it's also important we rely on your self-responsible handling of, of your application, sorry, which means we ask you to check independently your application status, the payment status, if there are documents requested from you, and so on. And you can do that through the self-service view of the application. In this slide, you see that when you go to My Applications in your business card or workplace, you can click on the application number. Then the program you have applied for appears. And through the magnifying glass feature, you reach the self-service view of your application, where you can check the status and if there is everything okay. And the color code is self-explanatory. You see green means everything is okay. And if there's a red bullet, we need something from you, something is missing, or you have to do something. The application fee you have to pay is the amount of 50 euros. And please observe the deadlines. The last day of receipt is the 27th of May, which means the university must have received your payment till that date and not later. Please make sure that your bank doesn't deduct charges from the transfer. Banks outside the European Union do that in many cases and it's important that we receive 50 euros exactly. And please use your application number as payment reference. If you can't link your payment to your application, your application is not valid. And if we receive the payment after the deadline, or if we receive less than 50 euros, your application is not valid either. So please make sure that you observe all that points. You find the bank account details on the application, in the online application, and you can check your payment status there. And you will receive an email if everything is okay with your payment. The aptitude test takes place from the 15th to the 19th of July and the test dates are individual, so they cannot be postponed. And for taking part in the test, you need the personal invitation with QR code and an official photo identification, a passport or an identity card. And the invitation with QR code you will receive via email. You are not allowed to take any electronic devices with you, so no mobiles or smartwatches or something like that. You can take an energy bar, something to eat and something to drink 
for the test. The test is a written test. You have to make it on a computer. It's in English. And the test duration is 70 minutes. You can leave earlier, but you have 70 minutes for the test. And if you want to know more details, you can check the university directive on our website. The test itself consists of 60 questions and one or a half point is awarded for each correctly answered question. And a question cannot be completed with minus points, so zero is the least you can get. And the overall results from the points form a ranking. And this ranking is published on the website in form of a list in the first week of August. And you see on the slide an example of this list in the first column There's the reference, your application number. You find yourself with that application number. I mentioned it before. In the second column, there are the points you have reached. In the third column, you see your, rank you see your ranking. And the last column shows you if you have been awarded a study place or not. Yes or no. And if there are four stars, that means that you're on the waiting list. Because in some cases, already allocated study places are not taken up and then the runners up the next on the list will be awarded the place you have to have completed a related bachelor's degree program as prerequisite for admission at a university or a fachhochschule with a workload of at least 180 ects credit points and for admission we need proof of this pre-study which means we need proof of the completed studies, the diploma or the bachelor certificate, and proof of the examinations taken in the course of your study. And important for students with educational experience outside the European Union, please make sure that you observe all the necessary legalization requirements of the issuing country. Information you will find on our website And if your documents are not issued in English or German, you need a translation by a court sworn translator. And all these steps take time. So please make sure that you start early enough to have all your documents ready when it comes to admission. And as many students from outside the European Union need a visa for Austria, make sure that you get the appointment at the embassy in time. We recommend that you start to do that when you start to make your application. And on the slide you see the link to the Austria's Agency for Education and Internationalization. It's a very helpful source of information for students from outside Austria. Yeah, and if a study place is allocated to you, you will receive a written notification by email. And this email contains all the information. And you will be asked to book an appointment for admission in the deadline of 10 days from the day of information. And please make sure that you observe that date. Because uh, if not, your study place will be awarded to another applicant. Admission starts on the 22nd of August. And, important, you have to come to Vienna for admission. It can't be done online. You have to come here for verification of your documents and to pay the tuition fee and the student's union membership fee. You find information on the fees on our website. On this slide I have put some information about the fees and some helpful links. As Vetmed Uni does not offer scholarships, it's possible to receive grants in Austria and under the website you will get information on that. We have information on students' housing near the campus on our website and there is a website called Study in Austria and it has information on living costs and all one has to know when coming to Austria. If everything went well, you will receive the student ID and then you can start your study here in Vienna at our university. Thank you. The question is, do you need to have a bachelor's degree for the entrance exam or is it required only at the enrollment in October? 
you do not need the bachelor degree for the exam itself, but you should submit it till the 20th of August. And if you do not have it until then, please contact us, as I told you before, uh, at zulassung at vetmetuni.ac.it so they can, that we can see how we can help you. How many applicants are there on average? Um, we have more than 20 applicants or, or taking part in the test, 26 to 30 applicants, if I remember correct, have been last year. So if there are no more questions, we thank you again. And you can always contact us via email. And yeah, have a nice afternoon. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention and I hope you got all the necessary information uh, that you needed um, and I hope to see you all soon here at our uh, master's program in comparative biomedicine at the Vetmed University in Vienna.